Hi guys, Cam back here in the uh, Batland Engineering Workshop and welcome. Well, this is just going to be a short video today. It's another boiler build. Um, my brother Andy has designed this uh, particular boiler for a Heidi. Uh, Heidi's look very similar to a Fowler sugarcane locomotive and uh, I'm doing the machining of the components. So that's the, the stays, the bushes, uh, the tube plates for the both the smoke box and the fire box and uh, all the penetrations through the boiler shell and the uh, steam dome bush and steam dome. So a little bit of machining it for my part. Uh, Andy's obviously doing all the forming and fabrication and he has an extremely well equipped workshop on the property that he lives in. So uh, he does this as a sideline. I think this is our third or fourth boiler I think we've done. Um, he's got another one on the go on the drawing board at the moment, uh, which is for a New South Wales 38 class. And that's gonna be done in duplex stainless again. And then possibly coming up after that an LMS Princess, which I think uh, was designed by William Stanier and built in the crew workshops. So that may be coming through as well, but we'll see. Um, just by introduction for my brother Andy, he's worked just about all his life in the oil and gas industry. Uh, he started off as a welder fabricator. He's uh, extremely well ticketed, highly ticketed um, for all sorts of exotic materials uh, in the oil and gas industry. Uh, now he's gone into, or well, he's a lead designer for the company that he works for, and he now designs a lot of the big storage tanks you see in the refineries and uh, all the ancillary pipe work, fire systems and pumping systems. So that's the little advertisement done. So look, if anyone's after or interested in a, uh, a logo boiler, uh, whether it's duplex steel or whether it's uh, in uh, carbon steel, uh, just click us an email and uh, we'll get back to you and uh, we can go from there. All right guys, see you soon. So this is the uh, Heidi boiler that we're doing in seven and a quarter gauge. Um, once again, it's in duplex. I'm just doing all the penetrations through the boiler shell for uh, for all the bushings. Um, steam dome in up here. Duplex steel once again. Very very nasty stuff to machine, but um, I've got to bore this out now. Uh, Andrew's just making up. My brother's just making up the. Uh, we're doing the final cut to shape. Of the um, of the bush steam dome bush that goes in here, and then I'll match bore that to suit. So that's just a, a nice tap in fit. And then he'll get uh, get everything tigged in along with uh, with all the bushes that we've got with the penetrations through that boiler. But a lot of work to do on this. I've got the uh, smoke box tube plate to do, the fire box tube plate to do, um, bore out for uh, for all the tubes. Uh, lots of stays to be done and uh, obviously all the bushes have got to be done and a lot of other peripheral stuff we're doing on this as well. All right, I'll keep moving on, set up for the uh, for the bore, get that uh, close to size and I'll wait till I get the, uh, get the dome bush to size it too. As you can see, that's a that's a neat light press fit into the hole there. This is a bit of scrap of that uh, duplex tube, uh, and this is uh, for the uh, for the steam bush, which will have a flange on it when, it's, uh, when it is made up. And then we have the steam dome on top, which is capped off. So that's the last penetration that has to be done in the boiler. So I've completed all the bushes. There's quite a few of them all the way along. both sides and also up underneath so so the way they've done the bushes these are all once again a light press fit into place for them to be uh, to be welded out so uh, very happy with how those uh, have all fitted up those meant obviously if you've seen previously drilling and boring to size to make them as neat as we possibly can 
but for now that's the boiler finish for me. I've got the uh, smokebox tube plate and the firebox tube plate that I've got a machine out for the tube nests on that one. And a few, uh, yeah, I've got a number of stages I've got to do. And there's a few other ancillary things that I need to do for the boiler as well. Uh, while Andy's getting this, this fabricated up, he's currently making up all the formers for the, uh, for the firebox wrapper and the outer wrapper. And quite a lot of work in that. Alright guys, we'll bring you back as we progress through this, this particular boiler. As I said, it's for Heidi. And uh, I'll show you how that's looking as, it's, uh, as it is coming together. Now on the boiler, this is where the firebox tube plate is. This is the firebox where the, where the fire is generated. Uh, passing the hot gases up through the flues and up into the smoke box. And if you have a look, it is on an angle. It, uh, it rises about a half degree angle from the firebox tube plate up to the smoke box tube plate. So we've had to angle this plate to get that angle that we need. All right, let's have a quick look at the setup. All right, this is my homemade angle plate. I made this some time ago and it will uh, angulate about five degrees past 90 degrees and it'll go about five degrees past zero. So I've got this angled up at half a degree at the moment. We've clocked the front face and we've got that within, oh gosh, I think it's 0 0.01, which is what about four tenths of a thou, I think. I've also checked the level across the top of the table and it's absolutely spot on as well. I've used this face as a datum face to come up against with a fence, get that right. But we also have in some in here some etched laser marks that I've double checked back to. And I've got my little pointer where I've set my center up to, and this is the datum point that I'm going to start with. So the plan is that I'll go through each of these roughly and open them up, and I'll leave myself about 2.2 .2 of a mil to clean them out, and then we'll go through and clean the whole lot out at 0.2 of a mil. That's the plan, we'll see how it works out. All right, we'll get the boring head set up and uh, we'll make a start with this. Okay, we've bought out the first two and I've left them 0.2 of a mil oversize. So I'm gonna go through, as I said, through the whole set. We'll rough all these out and we'll come back to size and do the final boring. I tell you, this stuff doesn't get any softer. It is as hard as hard. All right, I'll keep going through. We'll bring you back uh, when we're just about to finish off the roughing, and uh, then we'll get set up for the uh, for the finishing. Right, we've got this first one out to size. And we've made that a nice sliding fit. I can't get it to go on this way, it's possibly slightly elongated. So what Andy will have to do is give this end a buff to fit it. I don't want to make this too sloppy, I don't want to make it too tight. The last boiler I did make these a little bit tight and uh, a little bit awkward to get it together, but I'm, I'm happy with that. There's just a little bit of wobble in that. All right, well, I'll go through, finish the rest of these out, and that's the uh, firebox tube plate done. And I've got to set up for the uh, for the smoke box tube plate then. So I do need to run this very slow, um, as per the previous videos I've done, showing uh, working with this Duplex 2000 series stainless. It work hard very, very quickly if you have your surface speeds up too high, hence the reason I've got to run this reasonably slow. And everything's had to be run slow, drilling um, before tapping. Tapping is just a nightmare in this stuff, <laughs> it's just shocking. Um, but if I do run this too fast, it does work hard in there. It's an absolute mongle to try and break that uh, that skin. All right, let's see how that one fits up. So that's a nice fit. That was our last one, so that's good. So you don't want these too tight when you get the whole nest together and you've got to line them up with the uh, with the front smoke box tube plate. It's uh, it makes things very difficult. So that is. 
Yeah, very okay, nice. same procedure with the smoke box tube plate. So I've got my coordinates to work to. So we just work off the digital readout. Once again, we'll rough the whole lot out with 0.2 of a mil to go. We'll set it up for the uh, for the final cut and then run all through it again. You can really feel that nitrided surface at the back end when you break through. All right, we're going to continue through roughing these out and uh, we'll come back uh, when we've just about finished them again and uh, then we'll set up for the finals. All right, we've started the finishing passes now and that goes in there quite nicely. So I'm happy with that fit. A little bit in it. We'll have to put these in a lathe and just with a bit of emery cloth, just uh, buff them a little bit. But uh, it'll give a very, very tight nest, tube nest uh, in this uh, in this plate. All right, guys. I'm going to carry on finishing these off, and we'll bring you back when we're almost done. Just uh, take this out, deburr it, and uh, all the tube plates are done. So far, I think that's all I've got left. I've got some work to do on the back head for the mounting of the um, of the firebox uh, whole door, but we don't know what that design is going to quite look like yet. So uh, I'll wait for Andrew to get me those details. We can set up for the uh, for the machining and the set out for that. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. All right, well, that's the smoke box tube plate and. Uh, the angle is absolutely spot on with this, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's come up. So they're a nice, nice neat fit. So that's the smoke box tube plate done. And we have the firebox tube plate, which is what we did earlier. So once again, they're a very neat fit in there. So we'll go through. And once again, checking it out with a square. Um, yeah, it's being on, uh, being on half a half a degree. All right, so that's the tube plates all done. We've done all the stays. Um, we've done all the bushes and we've done all the machining on the boiler. And we've also done the dome bush and dome. Okay, and that's all of our stays done. So we've got uh, nine of one length, eight of another length. They're done. As I said, that's the back head where the fire hole door has to go. Um, how that arrangement's going to be done is, as I said, it's got to be... Um, decided but there will be some machining some drilling and tapping of holes to fit that uh, fire hole door frame in play all right guys just before we finish up i thought i'd show you the back head uh, i've just finished um, drilling and tapping all the quarter bsp fittings for the washout plugs inspection holes i've got a series of m5 holes here for the uh, for the fire hole door and we've got some back head fittings for gauges possibly the, um, the water gauges um, I didn't show the machining of this, you've seen me machining duplex steel and you know how much I hate it and how I'd rather stick needles in my eyeballs than, uh, than tap these small holes. It is just absolutely atrocious to try and tap, but uh, we got them done. Uh, unfortunately, another blunt tap though, but um, we got through it and we finished the, uh, the back head. So this will go off to Andy for the fabrication. I believe he's already formed up the uh, inner firebox. Um, ready to start putting the uh, the tube plates into place, so he's uh, he's doing well. All right, guys, we will see you real soon. <laughs>